What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you my favorite streetwear backpack company. By that I mean my favorite company that has backpacks that are stylish and kind of go with my style. I'm also doing a giveaway on one of these two bags at the end of the video so you got to stick around to see that. A few weeks back I was looking for a new backpack because I've been using the same Herschel backpack for years now, like four years now. It's a really good backpack but it's just old, it's got holes in it. So I decided I was looking for a new backpack. I looked on Sprayground's website but they hadn't come out with their fall collection yet so I couldn't buy one. But then they actually reached out to me a few days later to do a video as well as a giveaway for you guys. So these bags right here are from the fall and winter collection that just dropped. Actually this one right here is dropping on the 29th but this one is available now. So I'm going to get into all the details on both of these bags. So we've got two different bags right here. This is the Sharks and Paris bag which comes out on the 29th of November. It's more of that style of the Louis Vuitton and also a babe. It's kind of like a collaboration between them. And I really love the shark design as well as the Louis Vuitton. And if you can't tell, this is a lifestyle backpack. It's more looks than utility, really. It's got compartments on the inside and everything for all your everyday needs, but it's not meant for like a gym bag or whatnot like this other one. This is a camo top loader, which is more used as a utility for like sport and whatnot rather than the lifestyle like this, but it can be used as lifestyle too. The front of the bag has a compartment right here, which is kind of incognito. You can't really see it that much. You can hold anything in here really. I would think it's more meant for like a passport or your boarding pass if you're traveling, or you can just keep like your phone or sunglasses in there if you want. The side of the bag has compartments that can be used for like a water bottle. It's kind of that perfect shape for a water bottle and it's on both sides. On the back we have the straps which have the print all the way through as well as some padding back here which is good for back support as well as there's a computer pouch in there so it's really good protection for your computer. There's also some small hints on the backpack to go with the colors of the shark mouth on the front of course like the logo right here and then there's some little red hits on the side of the straps here when we get to the top of the bag there is a little compartment here which would really be used for your phone because it is a super super soft material I wish you guys could feel this it is insanely soft so it'd be perfect for a phone so you don't get a scratch or whatnot so all the zippers on the bag are metal as you can see which I think is really nice they also have this super dope zipper where it says spray ground on it with their logo. I really like that. But this is the main compartment right here. There's only one main compartment. And then there is a bunch of zippers. When you opened up, you're welcome to that. There's two, there's a little mesh one here, and there's one that goes a lot deeper all the way to the bottom of the bag behind that. I'm gonna try best as I can to show you the inside of the bag. But as you can see here, we've got that compartment where I said it'd be good to hold your phone as well as the main laptop compartment. It's got a super soft material, the same one that's in here, as well as a lot of padding. You don't want your laptop getting damaged at all while it's in your backpack, so I think that's awesome. They've got their spray ground stamp on here with all the cities, as well as it says the journey begins and all their social media and website and whatnot. Nice little branding, and I actually think it looks good even though it is branding. There's one more pouch in here that can be used for things like an iPad, maybe a charger or some hard drives. You can put whatever you want in there. That's the basic overview of the bag. I'm going to show you guys me loading this up with all my stuff that I would carry on a daily basis so you guys can see what kind of use you can get out of it. Then we're going to get this backpack right here. Did it show my hometown? I did show up in Cleveland. Fade away from these groupies that need me more than I need them. Mama raised a savage. My father helped me learn life. Broke bread with my day once. My pain helped me get right. No love inside my city. People have it out for me. Promoters say now be good. Quote unquote, actually. Get this understood. You cross me over. There's no going back. Made it out this town. Your pettiness can't hold me back. So then we've got the Camo Shark top loader. As you can see here, we've got that new molding with the shark teeth. Gives it more reinforcement. I loaded the thing up so you guys can see the shape of it and get an idea of what it looks like fully packed up. So as you can see, the bag is camo. Like the name of the bag, it's got a super nice print. It's also got this nice sunglasses holder in the back here. You can actually put your phone or whatever you want to put in here, but it's called the sunglasses holder. Since this is used for utility, you can use it for sports, the gym, whatever. It's got some reinforced straps, which are super dope, just to make sure if you're carrying something extra heavy, you're not going to get any breakage. This bag is a little bit taller. The dimensions are 20 inches tall. It's 11 inches wide this way. 
and six inches wide this way unless you stuff it up like this. The material of the outside is 900D water resistant polyester if you guys are curious. It's got this nice elastic band around the top here just so it can handle whatever size you throw at it. Let's go ahead and get onto the inside so you guys can see what you can load up and what the features are on the inside. Also, if you couldn't see, it's got these buckles on the outside to tighten up the sides if you need to, but we're gonna go ahead and open it up. I wanna show you guys what it looks like while it's all loaded up and how you open it. It is called their top loader, so it does open from the top. It's got the two buckles here. You open it up and you see you've got this here. It's kind of like a drawstring to hold everything inside. So if you've got clothes inside, that's how you kind of ring it all together and put this top loader part over it. To get into it, all you do is take this part off right here, open it up and it reveals whatever's on the inside, your shoes, your clothes, whatever. It's gonna be a little bit tough for me to show you guys the inside of the bag because it is completely blacked out. But as you can see on the outside here, we've got this nice extension about six inches here that has a string that's attached to ring everything together when you're ready to close it all up and put the top over it. On the inside of the bag, there's not as many compartments as the lifestyle bag because it is meant for, for shoes or clothes or whatever you wanna throw at it, but it also has that branding on the inside, the nice spray ground logo, as well as it has a laptop holder that's up to 17 inches. It doesn't have that softer material, but it does have extra padding as well as another sleeve. Like I said, you could put an iPad in there or hard drives or whatever you want to. Now I'm gonna load this bag up show you guys how I load it up and then we'll get onto the details of the giveaway I'll show you guys how these both look on me so you guys can see which one you like better options on the table let me take a sec to analyze industries for the dirty deals need to sanitize riding around the city with my running smoking samurai some say I went Hollywood well it's the truth I can't deny I I've been in the hills doing shit that I just can't describe young and making movements in the city they can't stand the guys riding around the city with my running smoking samurai some say I went Hollywood well it's the truth I can't deny OT my shift, my OD on split stack, OD I sit, yeah, low key I'm lit, wow, high key I'm up now. Now that we've taken a look at both of the bags, I just want to say thank you to Sprayground for sending them out just because I love connecting with brands that I support. I'll support this brand no matter what, even if they didn't send me anything out. I've been eyeing their backpacks for months now. But I also appreciate that they sent one out for you guys because you guys know I love giveaways. They know I love giveaways. So I love just connecting brands with you guys and being able to give back. Let's go ahead and get into the rules of the giveaway now. It's gonna be just as simple as all my other giveaways. All you gotta do is comment down below. This one, you gotta include a few different things to make it easier for me to contact you. First things first, like the video. You don't really have to do that, but if you support me, I would love it if you liked the video. Second thing you gotta do is comment your Instagram down below. You have to follow me on Instagram because that is the easiest way for me to contact you rather than through the YouTube comments because that takes forever. Second thing you gotta do is just comment which bag you like better, either the Sharks in Paris or the Camo Shark Top Loader. Last thing you gotta do is comment the country or city where you live. The giveaway is open to everybody internationally just like all my other giveaways. The winner of the giveaway will be announced on December 3rd on monthly pickup, so go ahead and look out for that video and I'll be contacting the winner through Instagram, so good luck to everybody once again. That's gonna wrap it up for this review. I hope you guys did enjoy. I wanted to bring you guys a different type of video, not focus so much on the clothes and now some accessories. So if you guys enjoyed, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe here if you're new. I post all kinds of streetwear content on Sundays and Thursdays. I'll see you guys next time. I don't know how I'm gonna get to the camera, but this is Harrison. Fine.